Hey everyone, I'm Rush Lock. This is Marvel Heroes. This is going to be our first prestige of Black Bolt. Uh, going green prestige on this one. I'm going to try and stay as melee as possible on this run. I think the first time through I went mostly range and maybe mixed now in like here, uh, all you have to worry about some like longer cooldown does. abilities like to manage, but I'm gonna do my best to stick with melee abilities on this one. So Welcome to the raft, see how it goes. Earth's most secure prison. First off, let's go with power right here. Here's the sit rep. The raft is under attack by Hydra, and supervillains are escaping well, from this themselves. power. We need your help to stop the break. You'll need to do here. three things. First, reactivate security. Without it, we're working blind. Second, restore power. Look for a set of generators in the maintenance wing. Finally, lock down cell block alpha. There are I did my first leveling with uh, level one gear from the, the vendor, so I got all that already. I think it's a little more durable. They have some, you know, damage mitigation. 38% already. And holding, because, well, now there we go. We're going from 30 to 30, or 38 to 30. I was under the impression that as we leveled up, it would, uh, it would go down, and that seems to be holding out so far. Now, I am being bad, and not... I'm, I am vacuuming up gear. That could be uh, decent upgrades. Maybe on the next prestige roll. We'll Turn the vacuum down and see how that affects the gearing up through story mode. We've also gotten powers unlocked as we've gone through here, so let's see what we've unlocked here. Ranged ability, area discharge, uh, let's see, oh, there we go, I don't need to read them, let's go straight to our bar, I forgot about that. I need a jolt! We won't want to hit level 10 by the time we leave this area to, uh... Get our trouble power. I'm not going We're also going to get carried by our team up a good bit. I am rocking, uh, account side XP boost, server side XP boost for whatever events going on at the time. Uh, in this case, it is Mayhem, Mystic Mayhem, and I've got a five stack of the uh, XP boost for as well. So. Good work taking down Living Laser. No wonder Fury speaks so highly Let's of see. you. I'm going to equip this one. So there's no real reason to take off powers uh, that I don't want to use because your bar will autofill if you leave anything empty. So. We'll use what we have access to. So we get out of here at least until we have enough power that we can start actually choosing our powers that go to the bar. I'm guessing that was a change done to help you know, new players who aren't aware that new powers are unlocking despite the, the text flash on the screen. When you're a new player, there's a lot of things moving and that should keep the rest of the cells a lot of notifications, so it's easy to miss. I just wish you could have gotten here what the veteran players may seem, you know, obvious and straightforward. Oh look, it's time to play. My first leveling of Black Bolt took about 40 minutes. Uh, one Check to out my toys. Keep in mind if you're if you're new to the game, that's not gonna be your first character's one to sixty speed. It's only because I have the XP boost running on my account and hero synergy bonuses and Trick or treat! I actually spent Omega Points this time, or infinity points, as they're called now. The biggest update ever. Let's go back over here with the time. Give us our travel power. When we get back to the hub, we're going to look at our powers more carefully. Decide which we're going to use going forward. And a level 11. Nice. Alright, so I definitely want to use this. Let's get these out of here for now. Um, vulnerability. Let's get that out of here. I'm going to use this as an opener. So, typically with, with characters that have a vulnerability power, I wanted to take the A slot. Um, I like to manage my abilities left to right. So, I like to open with my A key. So we have a vulnerability in a weekend. If I put both of those over there, then I don't think anything else. I don't believe anything else is unlocked for for melee. Uh, we may eventually get talents laid out. Some range abilities in the melee that could be cool. But I think in my first playthrough, I just went mostly uh, hybrid. Maybe a little bit of weight towards the range. Kill here. At level eleven, nothing else is unlocked in terms of uh, gear or relics or stuff like that. So we'll just move forward. 
Now boarding all the Hell's Kitchen. Here we're gonna look for the church, I believe, first, and then the symbiote building where Venom is the boss. Let's see what XP that's that here, out. All you have to worry about are the demon. I believe the Medusa team up was intended to come out with the character Black Bolt, but Let me show you how it's done. I don't know if it was a developmental delay or Marvel approval stuff. You never know. But I'm sure she'll be out as soon as they're able to. The first one to sixty on Black Bolt was kind of just a you know just getting there you know, one to sixty by any means necessary. I didn't really pay attention to my powers other than. You know, reading them as I unlock, see which ones I wanted to use. Um, as I said, this one I want to go a little more range or melee oriented, and then maybe on the next one I'll try to go full ranged build. Oops, splinter back here. Or maybe I'll come up with a different uh, theme or concept for the next prestige. I'll fly over this way. So if you haven't heard it yet, Black Bolt has the most crazy sound when he goes flying mode or movement mode. So check this out. Very, very faint. You may have turned up your side on your client, but... I don't know. It sounds like something you, you would hear when you press a button on an action figure. It's really cool. It, it amuses me. Probably far more than it should, but... I was in the hub setting up to do the session and heard it, and I was like, what the hell is that noise? And finally figured out what it was coming from, and... <laughs> now I can't stop hearing it. Now every single time. Like, I want it for a, a stream notification sound now. It's so distinct. At least to me. I hope, like, if I'm around another Black Bolt, I hope, I hope I can hear them activate theirs. I want it to be a sound I hear in the background of the game and just... I'll instantly know what I'm hearing. Try to use the Crash Down ability. Oh, that's quick power. Caleb's doing work over there. Alright, that thing is up. Let's go take out Venom. We'll get near 15 on this. Calm I presume. Down at your service. Stick with me and you may learn a thing or two. I'm sure this ability is on my HP yet. It's not accurate. So. I guess we have to build up energy to get there. Grab all the XP, talk to you. Bounce out this way. Now that I'm here, all you have to worry about are the demons. Now we're gonna fly to Lieutenant Higgins. Will then take us to I'm trying to remember. I think if I did enough enough, enough times I would remember, but Oh, that's right, it takes us to the uh, subway, I think, to take out Shocker and then lead us to Doc Ox. There's a Psylocke with a new... Oh, two Psylocke's with a new uh, visual update. Let's keep coming from. Oh, we're on the move again. Ha! Ah, dodge the rocks on truck. I usually fly right into it, thinking I can go down that street. Not today. Alright, we're going to hunt down Shocker. Fly through here. You see the mini map. So in story mode, these terminals are dynamic, meaning the map doesn't change. So if you've leveled one character, if you've leveled ten characters, if you've leveled a hundred times through prestiges or whatever, the route I believe is the same each time. In story mode, terminals I believe have a bit more RNG to them. Some terminals don't though. Oh, is, that, is that Mr. Belvedere? Hold on. Did I see Mr. Belvedere? In Marvel Heroes. Did that happen? But a known thing I'm just now catching up on. You can still run away. Ow! So I thought this was like a sewer, not a sewer, but a subway. Oh, right there. Is this Mr. Belvedere? Yes, please. All right, let's go over this way. I don't know. Maybe it's something you, the other folks have, have known about. 
this whole time. I've never seen it before. Or noticed it before, I should say. Alright, we're gonna fly to the nightclub and fly to the end of there and we'll face the oh boy. Um Doc Oct. Who's also had an update uh visual as a boss. And between the, the sound of Blackbolt's flights and Mr. Belvedere's unexpected cameo, I don't know what to expect. We're already level 23. You look nervous. Now, if you're if you're newer to the game, you're not going to be skipping trash pop like this because you're going to win all the XP you can get, uh, at least pre-30, because you want to unlock your signature ability your meddling ends now. before fighting bosses too many times. At least the earlier the better. Now, thankfully, when we take down Doc Ock, we can go back to the hub. That'll be a good time to, to stop and sort out gear and... Uh, speaking of gear, so then, oh, I can't on right now. 25? 20, we're just in combat. That was 24. So close. I do not believe. Back to the hub here. Just thought I'd mention the fact that you may see a lot of you around here. All right, so we can use That's these. That's a big part of why we're after the tablet. Something seems to be playing jump rope with the fabric. Twenty-five percent spirit and health. Yeah, that's happening. This one's getting hooked up. Uh, let's equip this and equip that and equip this. All right, cool. Uh, let's go here. LQs. Oh yeah, L legendary quest will unlock level twenty. We're gonna talk to Yurik real quick. Good to see you here. Get some more XP. All right, so we're level 28. We're two levels away from our signature ability. Uh, we're going to clear our bar a little bit. Uh, that's a range ability, so we'll go and dunk it. We're going to focus on, hopefully, more melee abilities. This is a generator. I like it. Cool down. Put that there for now. Uh, area ability. Shockwave. And barrier. This is a... Um, like a mitigation tool. Let's put that over here for now. Cooldown already grow. Oh, oh, another cooldown ability. Okay. By you. Opening moves for a second. Cooldown generates energy. Let's put it over there for now. We're gonna have to lose something though. It's probably gonna be this. Let's go and skip that. I'll, I don't expect myself to use that long term. Uh, we'll leave room for the sig and then potentially ignore all these other abilities that are ranged. Yeah. Again, this is not like a in-game build or anything like that. This is just me trying to. Focus on checking out the melee abilities on, uh, on Black Bolt. And if I don't make a concentrated effort on it, it's really easy for me to get sidetracked and I mix and range abilities just because I might like the, the feel of them more than an alternative. You look nervous. Good thing I'm right, here. So we're going to go the first signature over here. Another thing I like a lot about the removal of power points is it's so easy to change your build compared to the old system. Because before, not only did you have to decide what powers you were going to use, but you also had to stop and think, you know, how invested do I want to be in each of these powers? It wasn't just, you know, do I want to use this ability, but now also... You know, how many of the points that I have available do I want to commit to this one? And how many points at what level? You know, as you as your character advanced, now that I'm know, here, one power might be a priority over another one, then you get to another point stage in the game, and that may change. I don't really need to stop these guys. Uh, just all a bunch of mobs group together, and I know I had abilities on cooldown available, so... It's like a little mini-event. So, these little mini-events that spawn mobs in a very tight um, or narrow... Area uh, can really be pretty handy. That's a lot of cooldown abilities. Those are gonna be cool to check out on the boss for the next boss fight, which should be hood. Pass these mobs up. I've been we're here at 29. Protecting your life. We're gonna unlock the sig before too long. I believe we're coming up on the Taskmaster cutscene. Nope. We gotta do the aim thing first. Forgot about that. The aim bot has the drill attack when we get to the end. Now oh, three, two, just here, rendering. Now, worry about we're going to put the SIG over here. Uh, also, 
36, I think. Oh, no, we've got our first signature. All right, energy will uh, passively generate. Uh, Terrigen Echo. Opening moves. Where'd you go? There. I've done this before, but I think in terms of range abilities, we're not going to use it now. Uh, Geyser turns into Confluence. Giving him bonus damage to melee powers and generating energy while standing... Well, hold on, hold on here. The Geyser now turns into Confluence. Geyser into Confluence. Am I using it already? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it's over here. Yep, there we go. Still a ranged ability, but now it gives melee powers a bonus damage, or damage bonus. Didn't before, but it does now. Uh, we're going to have to incorporate that somehow. So I need to find an ability I don't care for, which is probably going to be you. And let's move in this one. Does it have a cooldown? Fantastic. All right. We'll make that part of our... So we have a vulnerability, and then we have a damage buff, uh, which I value higher than the weaken. Um, cooldown, cooldown, lots of cooldowns. Not complaining. I like cooldowns. I like the crash down ability. Oh, crafting nuts. Never pass those up. Go for this direction. Some for those guys. Keep on flying. Clear this room out. Fly through here, get to the end of the terminal, or map, good pack of enemies. Right, here's the guy with the drill arm. So the big thing is basically, you want to get behind him as much as possible, um, but definitely when he's winding up that, that cone attack. You can just use your dash to get through him, it's, it's pretty simplistic. There's our Sig, he's dunked. Another huge, huge value in getting your level 30. As soon as possible. Your, your SIG ability is going to make it really easy for you to clear uh, boss and mini boss mobs. Alright, we're going to navigate through the aim yard here. I think we're working our way towards the hood fight next. Um, we'll go through a couple of maps here to get to him. There's a waypoint there. I think it's next to the Taskmaster. Oh, no, we got Taskmaster before hood. Never mind. Again, you'd think a hundred times I've done this. I don't remember any of it. I love the way the zone looks, though. A lot of these materials and assets are taken from the uh, Civil War event. And uh, I think they turned out really, really well. All right, here we go. Like the Captain America dummy there. Enjoy the cutscene. Do you crave the excitement of international criminal intrigue but lack the skills to make that dream come true? Do the voices inside your head tell you that you were meant for something more? Do you sit there day after day, seething with the need for revenge, but don't know how to get it? Then the Taskmaster Institute is for you. Here at the Institute, we train you for a life of power and skill. You will learn seven different styles of martial arts. Many forms of advanced weaponry. If you're smart enough to find me, you're smart enough to learn the lessons I can teach you. The Taskmaster Institute. When you positively, absolutely know you are meant for something more. All right, let's get out of here. So I said before that. At level 60, I'm not going to have, like, my in-game build, you know, sorted and done on this one. But, if I were to do it melee, you know, this will be the way I would have done it. You know, if I were running for whatever reason. It could be just I, I prefer it this way. You know, maybe I like playing Black uh, black Bolt melee. I like his powers, like the rotation. Uh, it already has a lot of uh, cooldown abilities, which I really like. But, uh, for, for any of you who might be... Maybe where you have a, just a preference for... Melee abilities. And this little playthrough will showcase some of the powers you'll be more interested in. My leg. I'll go back and look. I think I did mostly range the first time, but I may have just been more of a hybrid. Just kind of checking out the powers I like thematically for myself here. or All you aesthetically. Have to worry about. All right, phrase. looks like class is in session. Those got to worry about his guns inside of them. 
Tell me what you think of this. Almost beat Thor with this move. Sig did pretty good damage there. 30 second cooldown. Still applying damage well. A lot of uh, cooldowns to manage. Our damage output is really legit on this boss. Splinter. I don't know what this ability is, but it's pretty cool. I think it's uh, Confluence. Alright, next we'll work our way towards Hood and his ship. Right, level 41. So flying through here. What are you doing here? Not all is lost. I had the urge but to. Well, I love the fact they put the uh, sky cycle for Hawkeye. Um, I had the the urge to go ahead and prestige Black Bolt, but I didn't want to just love them the same way each time. So I thought Black making Bolt these little videos would be a good way to charisma. go through, and make myself uh, you know focus on different abilities I wouldn't normally maybe go out of my way for to to focus on. So if there's a hero you'd like to see leveled, and you have any certain conditions that aren't you know just trolley. If you're like, hey, let's see a summoner rocket or a gun rocket, things like that. I've been tasked update. with protecting your life. Always feel free to post them on the Discord. Put them in the comments down below the video and I can always take a look. One thing I was surprised with Black Bolt, so I... This is just an assumption, not like a negative oh, feedback I've been thing. Just, forward to this. I definitely assumed that there would have been a... Like a call-in aspect for aim, more of the Inhumans. Fire. Um, as NPCs. And him being the first, like, major for release for the Inhumans, I can, I can see where the, you know, maybe that's something we'll see in the future. Maybe it'll be on his uniques? I don't know. I was looking at Rogue's uniques well, today, and I had no idea. I was I was helping somebody get geared up, and uh, I hadn't looked at the Rogue uniques since the biggest update, and she now has a different call-in on all five of her uniques, so. Maybe as I play Black Bolt at max level, I'll don't. see. Something like that, or maybe that'll be something we'll see in the future with um, Omega Gear. Uh, let's see, nothing really super special there. Just gonna stack these crafting mats up down here, and we're good to go. As we I'll slap on him on him at sixty later on. I on the Buccaneer Beach. But before we do that. You do have we're going to take a look at our talents all. and see what we've unlocked. Uh, level 50 will be our next unlock. We're currently level 46. we got a little bit of time before that happens. Uh, Tears and Breath cooldown increased. Breath damage. Real Mandate's cooldown is refreshed when you are when you used the Breath. Um, breath becomes a melee power. That's what I was expecting because I had the fist on there. And fires directly at the Black Bolt's location. Inhuman Speed, that's our dash, gains charges. I kind of want to use that. Um, opening moves... Gains a dot, um, and his cooldown is, is increased by two seconds. Many turns into torrents. It's probably more for ranged build. Uh, let's find breath and figure out exactly what we're going to do with that. Um, melee, ten percent. Wasn't using it before. Oh, this has fifteen on it. So never mind. Thought we were maybe replace this one, but. Nope. Breath and... So this one already has opening moves on it. And I like the dash increase a lot. I took this one on the last build, but uh, it, it directly impacts one of our, our powers. And gives us extra dashes. So I can't imagine... Unless I just really, really liked Terrigen Breath. Um, I, I can't imagine taking it over extra charges over dash and buffing one of our melee powers that we're trying to focus on. Oh, we have another ring, uh, road to look at. Uh, leadership. So barrier transforms into leadership. Uh, gems nearby enemies and gives Black Bolt and his allies damage and move speed. Uh, sweeping strike, which we're not using right now. Uh, blast turns into explosion. Well, maybe we're going to look at this one then. Um, area. I took this off the bar earlier. Uh, we get base damage buff for 6 seconds on a 12 second cooldown, so 50% uptime. It comes down to, I'd have to have a an ability that I didn't care for. Um, one could argue that this buffs our melee powers by 10%, where this buffs all of our powers by 10%, but this one has 100% uptime. The other one's only 50% uptime. Um, it doesn't affect our SIG, though. 
Whereas the other one does. I definitely want to keep that. Regal Mandate. Oh, you know what? Somebody else affected Regal Mandate earlier. I didn't look at it closely enough. Do, do, do. Yes. Let's go there. And consider losing opening moves, Hope's maybe? strength is tied inexorably to his rage. If you must fight him, try to soothe the savage beast. Pick this up. Um, okay, so like, we'll treat it as, as like a rotating set of openers. Uh, we'll spam our basic attack, it looks like. You have energy, attack speed goes up. Okay. So it's both it's both free and a spender built into one ability, which is interesting. I think I'm, I think I like that. Uh, let's see. Oh no no no! We gotta take breath. So get this out of here. We'll take the leadership away. And we gotta find breath. There we go. That leaves me wondering what to do down here. Your attire distracts no, I still want targets. barrier. An excellent advantage. Uh, I still want mandates. Oh, we are using swooping strikes. And we get vulnerability. I'm bad. Let's do that then instead. Perfect. Excellent. I still want that damage bonus from leadership, but we're going to go this route. We'll check swooping strikes as melee. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have the course laid. To the beach. That's something else about the power change. Like, it's just so easy to, you know, make modifications on the fly. I might try this for one map and go, no, this is not what I was looking for. You know, make that change, move on, and you're not, you don't have a lot of downtime. You're not, you're not sitting in a hub, going cross-eyed, staring at power trees for hours on end uh, during the leveling phase. Now, when you get to end game and you're min-maxing and, you know, you'll want to put more time into it, of course, but... Up front when you're just leveling them, but not so much. King Botagon, no need to speak. Now that I'm here, all you have to worry about are the demons. Map back up. Alright, so we're looking for the cell room or cell block. A couple of shield agents being held. A Grim Reaper. I've been tasked with We're gonna bust them out. Slower than usual because we have to go walk over to them. Let's go in here. Death has come for you. Zapping his own dudes. Well, all the things there. Super easy. Got the splinter. Take the doorway out. Alright, Bamboo Forest. We're at 52 right now. Uh, we're looking for the Serpent Idols. We need three of them. There's an event going on right now that we're going to choose to not interact with. We want these things over here. Uh, I missed that one. Miss that one as well. There we go. Hopefully, well, I don't know. I was gonna say I, I'd like to see the the spawn density or frequency of these go up, but this is probably the most I've seen in one spot in probably ever. Magic was once a queen of limbo. You'd be wise to show her respect. I've been tasked with protecting your life. Let's see. All right, we're gonna fly to the Serpent Idol.
We're just gonna blow up a structure and the um, boss mob will spawn, mini boss, and throw him out. You look nervous. Good thing I'm here to pick up the slack. Main boss will be here. We'll pretty much just pop our sig on it. That'll do most of the work. This up. Now that I'm here, all you have to worry about are the Alright, so demons. remember we're gonna body slide back if you've already leveled a character before. You'll have the next waypoint that we need. We can go straight to the barber shop. If not, you just walk forward from there. Follow your indicators, you'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna go well, before we go anywhere, we're gonna spin our powers. Um, we've unlocked all of our talents, so killing word, which are our sig. Uh, Ultron instantly resets operation. cooldown of your other non-signature abilities. What happens when men Energy restoration is no longer triggered on activation. Uh, the cooldown will be increased by 10 seconds. Killing Word will gain range power damage. We don't want that. Uh, master Blow is a melee signature move that hits a single target for massive damage and radiates outward, out in a cone energy behind them. Yes, please. Haven't tried that version of it. And then while your energy is above 30%, or you get a health and uh, damage bonus. Or health regen and damage bonus. If your energy is at full, your total damage goes up by 25%. So your attack speed multiplier goes up 10%. Cost reductions go down. Buff lasts for 5 seconds with a 7 second cooldown. So about like a 40% uptime. Uh, when your health is below th a third, I don't like that one at all. So we're going to try this one. I haven't really noticed my spenders. Let's see. So this costs energy. This builds energy. Builds, builds, builds. So it's only my, my main attack that does this. So we'll use our other abilities on cooldown and then pop the... We'll get the buff whenever we fill it up. And I can just burn it down with this. We'll try that out. Let's see how it goes. We're going to go to the barber shop. Uh, hubs. Not hubs. Sorry. Chapter 4. 3. Recon outpost. Talk to him. Advance the story. Go grab the Mirasami blade and move on. Electra might hit us to 60 or get us close, I'm not sure. Fury told me you might be visiting. Strange, I thought they gave me XP last time. Oh well. Fly power going. Hail Hydra. Dim Hydra agents. Stop them! I've seen this exact pathings of this thing before, but we got there. We're flying. If we want to make a left hand turn, so I guess we're going to have to double back a little bit. That'll be fine. Hopefully, we can get in through here. Looks like we can. This is where you would, you know, value new speed a lot. You know, even a 30% buff, you can imagine how much quicker that would let you zip through here. Surprised to see you in this That's neighborhood. 57. Sharon Carter. We're going to climb this tower, take out a couple of mini bosses, and then take out uh, Electra, I believe. So the splash screen would suggest to us anyway. Lost, but it very well may be if we fail. Don't need the map in here, it's pretty straightforward. We'll be a mini boss on the other side of this door. Right about here. That's 58. We'll be clear there. There'll be a boss in this room as well. Uh, closer to the next entrance. I like that our leap attack or our Split the sky will take us out of our, our fly power. I presume it's because it's another movement ability. I've been tasked with protecting your life. Get boss down here. This comes for you. We don't need to clear these guys out, but they're, they're a nice little chunk of XP. And they're all grouped together, so. 
So being blue mobs, it probably wasn't worth uh, the effort to stop and mess with them. That was 58. Take out Electra, see how much we get for Not clearing her out lost, and talking to the NPCs afterwards. Very well back in the tower. If we fail. Your fate is sealed. So he has about 15 seconds left on it, just gonna try and as much trash as possible. It's been successful so far. 100% uptime on that influence is really nice. Pop the sig, and there she goes. Go back to town, we'll probably be good for level 60. Talk to Yurik, I think? Yeah. Wait for him to spawn. Oh, Yurik, what are you doing? Silly Yurik. If he gives any XP at all, we'll, we'll definitely level. Do I need the body slide or something? I don't think I can. Oh gosh, I guess I can. Oh, we slid uh, earlier when we were in uh, low town. Or trying to get to low town. Hopefully this will fix it. But this whole level took like 35 minutes, so... Not all is lost. I was also stopping looking at the powers a little bit. Not bad at all. Fail. Oh gosh. Why are you not here, Yurik? Hey there. there he is. I think I'll lead this conversation all right. in deep Level 60 gets. gets. Green completed. A couple more chests to open up. Probably some more crafting mats. And, uh... Catalysts. But... That's it for Black Bolt. Green 1 to 60. Melee orient oriented. Um, I would probably... Go with this selection of powers. So, this could be useful if you don't want to worry about builders too much. Um, this is obviously more of a ranged option. This is the melee choice. Um, I did like the, the breath into uh, mandate. Uh, let's see if we can find those abilities. There's breath and there's mandate. So, uh, using this would reset this one. So, you can open up, not open, but you could open up with these two and then. Use this, use this, use this again. So DFD, or FDF rather, would be your rotation there. Um, sweeping strikes gives you invulnerability on demand. Also as a builder. And then you have your SIG every 30 seconds as well. Uh, of course we don't use the alts unless we're level 60, so. But yeah, uh, melee, melee Black Bolt might be a thing. So, scales off of fighting and energy. This just tells you that some of his powers build, some of them spend. Uh, when you're out of combat, it depletes. Uh, his defenses scale off of defense and deflect. And then you get your damage reduction whenever you pop a melee power for three seconds. So base, w without any you know relevant gearing at all, we're looking at 40% damage reduction. I think he'd be quite, quite tanky the more we look at him. So we'll probably prestige him here again soon. And... Uh, Figure out what we're going to go with long term and maybe run around in game with him for a little bit before I do the next prestige. See if I can figure out what I want to do and get used to on rotation. But again, thank you all for hanging out. If you have a Black Bolt build you want to share, any powers you like to uh, suggest, recommend others to check out, feel free to post in comments down below the video. Otherwise, you can join us on the live stream. Definitely join us on the Discord server, which will be linked down below the video as well. We have a Marvel Heroes chat there that you can uh, share builds and tips and tricks or. Look for help if you need it. But I hope you guys enjoy Marvel Heroes Black Bolt. First character to come out since the update 2017. And we'll see you all next time.